Coast, then the West Coast. Storm Show meteorologist Kirsten Horn here to talk about that. Yeah, we're going to be seeing a pretty warm uh, Christmas. Will be uh, a good at least 15 degrees warmer. Wow. Then we should be this time of year, which is kind of nice. You can get out and hang out outside with the family if you want to that day. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's talk about today. It's a little cold out there this morning. As you're waking up, make sure you uh, bundle up walking out the door. Temperatures are in the 20s and 30s. We are at 30 degrees in Tulsa, 24 in Bartlesville, 27 in Coffeeville, and then south near McAllister, you're right around 34 degrees. So uh, overall, a nice cold start to the day here in green country. We are also dealing with a little bit of uh, some freezing fog in spots. We actually have a, freeze, a freezing fog advisory that's in effect until 9 a.m. Uh, reduced visibilities, especially to the east. So Muskogee, you are down to only a quarter of a mile. Uh, we're looking at about half a mile for you there in Grove. Tulsa, not all that bad. It's about nine miles, so really not dealing with it too much. But just remember, you could see some patchy spots of fog as you're out on the roadways this morning. So just uh, make sure you drive a little slowly. Your winds are calm, and so that helps uh, allow that fog to develop through the overnight hours. These winds are going to be picking up, though, as we head into the day. They'll be coming out of the south, and as they do, they really help to warm us up. They'll be a little strong, actually, sustained anywhere from about 10 to 25 miles per hour at times. We'll look for mostly sunny skies with a little mix of sun and clouds towards the afternoon hours. By 6 o'clock, a few clouds start to build out east. A cold front comes through tonight, and as we make our way into the early morning hours of Wednesday, we'll start to look for a few showers to develop around Tulsa, also to the south and east. East is where we're going to look for our best chance of seeing some of those stronger to possibly severe storms. You see on our future cast, so it definitely picks up in Arkansas, but if you ride along the, the uh, Oklahoma-Arkansas border, you could be looking at a couple of those rumbles of thunder as well. Tulsa, again, a few scattered showers early in the day on Wednesday, then starts it starts to clear. That's cold from moves on up to the northeast. We'll be looking for, uh, again, uh, mostly clear skies by 8 o'clock, and again, Wednesday looking pretty good for us overall after that system passes. Uh, so again, late tonight, that's when we could be seeing some of those showers and storms develop. Storm Prediction Center has put a slight risk to the south, also to the east. Again, I'm thinking most of these storms are going to develop uh, in this area closer to the east, though, uh, making its way into Arkansas, but we'll watch that into the early morning hours tomorrow morning. On your uh, day planner, temperatures to start are a little chilly. We're in the 30s. We'll be making our way up into the 60s by lunchtime with a high of 63 degrees. Average high this time of year is 48, so we are far from our average, uh, not only today, but the rest of the week. You notice that we continue to see uh, those temperatures in the 60s. We'll look for that chance for rain early on Wednesday, then clearing Thursday, looking really nice sunshine out there. On Friday for Christmas Day, we'll hold on to sunshine early in the day, and then clouds start to build later that night with a chance for showers and storms. That will just continue through the weekend, so a rainy weekend up ahead. Max. All right, Kirsten, thank you.